So I'll just cover off a few more uh, perhaps advanced text options that's available to you. Um, what I'll do is just go down to my next spread. Actually, I've just added a, a, another title for this page. Um, and I'm just going to draw another text frame here uh, for some body copy. I think again, I'll just go to my text file, um, grab a just a bit of text just to sort of show this. And then I'll again, I'll just paste without format. So that puts it in, um, in, the, right, in the right format. So a few more things to talk about. Uh, the first one, I guess, is columns. Uh, so uh, here on your, on your context toolbar at the top, you've got the option to add uh, columns to your text. Now, if you want to do any more advanced editing of those columns, uh, you can do that in your text frame tab. This isn't something that is shown uh, by default. So you go to Studio, go to Text Frame. Um, and here, actually, there's various options about what you can do uh, with your with your text frame. So for example, if you wanted to have a background to the, to the text frame, uh, you could, or you could add a stroke around the, around the outside. Uh, you can actually control indent in your text frame too. I'll just reset those. Um, you can also, of course, change the number of col columns, but you can also manually adjust the width of columns. So I could maybe make the, the first column wider than my second one. I can adjust my gutter in my column two. So if I actually wanted a, a more narrow gutter of only five uh, millimeters, I could do that. And uh, I could maybe then go back and sort of set these columns to be, uh, to be the same size. Um, so that's kind of one of the, the first things is that you can add columns and you've got various other options using the text frame panel.